Hello fellow Dustland Delivery fans, welcome back to the video, I am Viceroy and we're going to be playing some more obviously Dustland Delivery. So since the last video there's been an update to version 1.20.511 and they've fixed a few bugs and added a few new major additions so we'll just quickly go through them. Number 1. Added new custom character portraits, could be very handy. Number 2. Improved the crafting screen, you can now use materials stored in your city's depot when crafting. That would be very handy, especially if you don't need to be at the actual depot to do it. Added one click storage and withdrawal of goods in the depot, that was number three. And finally number four could be a pretty big one for most of us. Updated cloud save functionality, yay, which means we can now actually play on different machines on our own save games. So without further ado folks, let's jump in and continue the adventure. Here we go. We are in a city owned by the Dust Bowls. Driver, what's wrong, driver? You have an attribute point. Okay, that's good. But what do we want to upgrade? Speech? We have 83 books we can use, so we're, we're okay on that at the moment. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe speech is a good one. It's always good to be persuasive, right? Um, how are their other attributes looking? They're fairly hungry, somewhat fatigued. A mm, little bit stressed and quite thirsty, so drink water. Um, virtue divergence. The difference between your crew's virtue levels is too high. This disparity may result in disastrous consequences when making certain event decisions. Oh, <laughs> not good. Okay, so maybe we should uh, rest for the night. How much scrap do we have? We have 3,000 scrap, so we're okay on that. Uh, let's treat them to the VIP suite. Nice, okay. And um, maybe we'll treat them to a meal. Yeah, all their attributes are at a decent level now. Good, good. So do we have... I can't remember, actually. Do we have anything that we were transporting? Um, we have enough tires, that's for sure. Fuel's okay. Although I will say, with this game, definitely... Um, I may have said it already, actually. But definitely go with fuel. If you're at a place that sells fuel, buy it even if you don't think you need it because you probably do Ooh, coffee <laughs> canned coffee as well the ultimate luxury um yeah i don't actually believe we were transporting anything so uh let's see what we can buy for cheap chicken Ooh, where were we going we're on a time task so we're going to a mountain way so if we do where that is um so we're going there mountain way okay and we are currently where are we currently uh, ah, so we're here at Western Gas Station and we're going there. Still got far to go. So they need ammo, water, vegetables and rubber. And this place produces... None of those things. Hmm. Ammo, water, vegetables, rubber. Nope. Definitely doesn't produce any of those things. Ooh, a side story. Abandoned mine. An older map you found says there used to be a mine here. Do you think the chances are this is going to be a danger zone? So we could stop at this little, uh, clunker town. This little town on the way through. They need thread, honey, milk, and cloth. Uh, can we help them with any of that? No. And thank you on one of the last videos to a commenter who pointed out or was shouting at their phone <laughs> that I needed something and I did not pick it up. So uh, yeah, if I do that again, feel free to let me know in the comments that I've made a mistake because I am not perfect at playing these games. I mean, they're fun, but everybody forgets things from time to time, right? Okay, so let's let's go to the mine, shall we? Oh, no. No, I'm not going to say that this time. I'm going to go to the mine. If nothing happens on these journeys between places, I'll um, fast forward to the next section. But if you guys watching would rather the unedited version of that, like if you do want me to edit out the driving bits in between, I know that most of the point of this game is the driving bits, but if like literally nothing happens, then... 
Do you want me to leave them in or sort of cut to the next interesting thing that happens? Not far off the road, you see what seems to be a cave. After you disembark and get closer, you find an assortment of equipment scattered around the mouth of the cave. You're unable to see the end of the cave from here. Well, obviously we gotta explore the cave. I mean, there's low risk, so we're okay, I think. In front of you is a two-way fork. Take the left path, take the right path. Think carefully. We don't have enough crew focus to think carefully, so we just gotta make a choice. Um, the right path is the right way, or is the left path the right way? Or left. In front of you is a three-way fork. You'll feel that you're deeper into the cave than you were before. Um, take the left path again. Arriving at what seems to be the deepest part of the cave, you find dead bodies scattered about. As you ponder what they were doing in here and what happened to them, you spot a large crate. The crate is filled with food and is labelled Emergency Relief Supplies. Its intended destination is stamped on the other side. We, we gotta be the good guys, right? Let's deliver the food. Whoever these people are, they clearly need emergency relief. Virtue plus five. Worker is disgusted by your goody two shoes actions. Worker really is an asshole, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Tensions have reached the boiling point. You need to find a way to reconcile this trucker with the rest of your crew. Eh, it's probably nothing to worry about. I knew that was gonna happen. I think if we'd sat down at a heart at a heart to heart, it would still happen anyway, so why waste time, right? But well, we've lost another crew member. Annoyed by the neglect, the trucker decides to leave your crew. As you watch them disappear over the horizon, you wonder if this could have been avoided. So on this playthrough, folks, we have lost two crew members so far. <laughs> We're doing okay. Um, so engine temperature, let the engine temperature cool a minute. There's no immediate uh, danger. It's a little bit better. Um, check tires. Apart from this one, they all seem to be okay. And that one's a bit dodgy. Okay, let's continue. The truck has reached its destination. Has it? Ah, okay. Yeah, that was the mission that we were headed towards. Right, got it. Um, let's set out again. See if we can make the next town. Notification. First encounter with cargo containers. Run again to 126 experience points. You come across a bunch of cargo containers just sitting there out in the open. The original owner seems to have abandoned them, though you aren't sure why. Do you want to crack them open? Yes. Oh, it's now it's fully infected. You managed to find a few supplies. Ammo time 38. Oh, okay. That was not too bad. Snow. Snow will reduce your horsepower and reduce your engine's temperature, which can cause it to stall. Nope. Oh, watch the moon. Nope, we're not given an option to watch the moon. Guess we're not stressed enough to. You're a you have arrived in Clunker Town. This gas station is said to have a large supply of scrap truck parts in stock. First visit to Clunker Town. Run again 252 experience points. Okay. Tasks. Food delivery. Where's that going? Um, oh, actually. Ah, oh, the food delivery can't be going there, surely. That's an infection zone. This. Huh? It wants us deliver, to deliver food to a salvage zone. We would have been better off keeping it. Trailer workshop. This factory produces truck trailers. If you provide them the necessary materials, they'll be able to replace your trailer. Ooh. I didn't know that was a thing. That's handy. We've learned something new today, folks. Goods trailer. Large goods trailer. Travel trailer. Large travel trailer. Gun trailer. Large gun trailer. Nice. Okay. So, goods trailer. Max load plus 5,000. Fuel use plus 8. And it costs 5,000 scrap and 4 cores. Um, large goods trailer. 20,000 max load. Minus 1 horsepower. Fuel use plus 8. 
Seems like a reasonable uh, trade-off, though, that travel trailer. gives us an extra crew member that we can uh, stash in it. Um, but it decreases our maximum load. And then again, ammo damage for fuel use. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad at all, is it? Um, you arrive in Clanker Town, a small settlement known for its enormous scrapyard. You should be able to find a buyer for your spare materials and fuel here. And um, we don't want to recycle tires or fuel. Or building material. We need all that stuff. Uh, we have enough tires. Um, fuel we're okay at the moment. So let's see. Um, ah. We're going here, Mountain Way. The next stop is... Do we stop at the side, side story? This part of the map just has question marks. Wonder what it could be. Riverside Landfill, Infection Zone 15. Yeah, I think we want to avoid that one for now. I think we should avoid the side story from an extraordinary side story. Or would we try it anyway? Hmm. So what does this place need that this place has? Tires, water, chicken, canned fruit, or... Uh... Button mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, squab, pheasant, scallop, and shrimp. Ammo, water, vegetables, and rubber. Okay, so oh, water. Okay, we can we could buy some water to sell. Uh, water, 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 water. Buy. Fill the truck. Well, that looks different. Ten thousand two hundred sixty-eight. Ah, oh, so it gives you a. Oh, that's handy. So it now tells you how much of your truck storage you're using. Bargain. You successfully bargained for a 10% discount. Yay. Okay, let's make a move. Any part. Nope. Oh, Roof fatigued. And we no longer have a second driver, so we need to rest now if our driver gets too fatigued. Auto change tire, handy. Very handy. Swamp slowed us down a bit. We're nearly at the next waypoint. Just changed another two tires because they are falling apart. First encounter with train camp. You find an old train sitting on a railroad track. The warm lamplight and curls of smoke coming from the train indicate that it's inhabited. Um, we should ignore them for now. I just want to get a step to the destination because we'll probably end up in a fight and we're on our own now. Saying that, fatigue level is quite high. We need to rest. Yeah, that should be enough to get us where we're going. Let's go. You'll keep forgetting where the set out button. Oh, rain. Your crew is exhausted. Okay. Let's camp. We should sleep. That's not too bad. It's quite low still. Sleep. The risk was worth it. Camp. Um, point us partying because there's nobody to party with. <laughs> we could cook. Um, what if we cook some vegetables? Cook. Grilled vegetables. Yay. Okay, we're good, we're well rested. We fed. No, we, we didn't feed. But eat. Um okay, you, you ate yourself. You completed the task. Well done. Reward 2293 scrap scrap and four clout. You have arrived in Mountain Way, a small town located in a narrow gorge leading from the central plains to the western mountains. The gorge is also the only way to reach Metropole. Okay. After a bad first impression, you just they decided that they didn't like Mount Doomway. Why? From his glassy eyes and unkempt appearance, this old man doesn't look all there. He stares off into the distance, ignoring you. After a minute, he suddenly turns to you. In a voice barely above a whisper, he asks, You guys couriers? Yeah, need something delivered? Something like that. 
Ah, where are my manners? The old man sits up straighter. I'm a teacher, or at least I used to be, over in Iron Bucket. You might have heard of it. It fell to an infected horde ten years ago. The big one that came from the outwest. When the horde came, I took shelter in the school's stone ha uh, storehouse, stonehouse with my students. We had food and supplies to last a few years at least, but after a few weeks the horde showed no signs of abating. Eventually the infected must have sensed that there were still people in the storehouse. We could hear them trying to break through the door. All of us were huddled together, crying and preparing for the end. After all, we were unarmed, and most of our number were children. So I volunteered to draw the infected away, a suicidal task, but what choice did we have? Slipping out of a window, I ran as hard as I could, weaving through the horde of infected. Some of the infected followed me, but not enough. With the infected closing in, I had no choice but to run away. I surely would have died had a group of soldiers not rescued me. I told them about the students still trapped in the storehouse, but they told me I was insane if I thought they were going to go back into that mess. Oh, that's sad. They could have go rescued the uh, children, couldn't they? Sad story, what happened next? It's been a decade since then. The infected horde is long gone, but even so, I've never gather gathered the courage to go back for them. Could? Could you go there and see if anybody survived? Tell them it's safe to come out now? And that their teacher is very, very sorry. I'll give you 3,000 scrap for your time. That's a lot of scrap. Um, sure. So we had an up uh, upfront payment of 500 scrap, and then I guess we get the rest later. Here, consider this in advance. If you find any survivors, tell them I sent you, and they'll pay you the rest. How does he know they'll pay me the rest? Overdue apology. Task started. So where are we going? Where's Iron Bucket? There's Iron Bucket. So we're there. Iron Bucket's there. They need water, books, rubber, and canned fruit. Water, books, rubber, and canned fruit. None of which we can get from this place. Okay, we will get around to that quest, but first, let's go to Metropole, because we do have... Um, do we have business in Metropole? No, we don't. Okay. Starlight City is where we have business, which is down here. Okay, then. So, uh, thread, honey, milk, and cloth. Thread, honey, milk, and cloth. Nope, none of these things need that. So, we're going to go boop, boop. We're going to go, ooh, hang on, what's this place need? Rations, wood, dry vegetables, salt, pork, dry chicken. Wood. Okay, so we'll buy wood in this place. Oh, and we have stuff to sell. Um, what do we have to sell? Water, wasn't it? Yes, sell water. Yoink. Upsell. Ah. 141 water sold it. Oh, wait, we just sold all our water. That was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that. We're going to have to buy some of that back. Or should we collect some on the way? Bye. Holy crap, that's expensive. Yes, we got, we got a 10% discount on the water that we, <laughs> we accidentally sold. <laughs> Uh, oh, that wasn't good, was it? That wasn't a good choice. Oops. I sold way too much water. Yeah, we have some now, at least. We probably have dirty water we can boil. I'm pretty sure we do, actually. So where were we? <laughs> we were buying... Um, oh, fuel. We should probably buy some more fuel. Let's buy 502. I'm a bargain because there's no downside to bargaining. As far as I know. And wood. As much wood as we can carry. Yay! Okay, let's head out. Leave city. 
and oh because next time we set up camp then when we need to rest we'll boil some water at the same time two birds one stone you spot a crashed airplane somebody seems to have made a camp out of the wreckage nope not until we have a backup crew at least at the very least Runner ate rations. You have 20 days of drinkable water. First encounter with abandoned truck. Runner gained 126 experience points. While driving, you come across an abandoned truck by the side of the road. The doors of its cargo trailer are wide open. Want to check it out? Yes, it's low risk. Why not? You didn't find anything useful. Oh, damn. Um, stress is really high. We can go a little bit longer, I think. Yeah, we can go a little bit longer. Oh, we should have admired the moon then. We missed that, didn't we? We still do it? No. Damn. Look, the moon's still out. We should still be able to admire it. We do have a long journey ahead. There we go. Shorten the journey a little bit. <laughs> What sunrise? Here we are. You stop to watch a gorgeous sunrise. All right, time to get back to murder in the end. Um, we should probably rest for a minute though. The stress level's really high. Oh, a thirst, sorry. Uh, drink water. Oh, stress is really high though. Gotta keep an eye on the engine temperature too. No issues, bad weather. Ooh, stop. Can I bring water? And rest. And rest? Okay, we should probably head out now. In fact, uh, the risk is getting quite high. The crew is exhausted. Rest. Rest. And go. We can't set up camp here, so we can't stop. Runner reached experience level 5 and gained one trade point. First encounter with pileup. You arrived at a, an abandoned bridge covered in a sea of wrecked vehicles. Making your way through them might prove difficult. Okay, we'll take a detour. Looks like you're taking the long way around. Headed down life's crooked road. Time passed, 3 hours 20 minutes, plus requires fuel times 10. That's not terrible. Drink coffee. Yes. <laughs> We're now wide awake. Drink alcohol. Not a good idea while driving. <laughs> That's for sure. Eat some bread. Yes. Camp, kitchen, start fire, boil water. Wow, look at that rain. Nine waste water though, because of how badly it's raining. Uh, let's continue. Hopefully, the windscreen wipers are working okay. Yay, nice and sunny now. You have 31 days of drinkable water. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Can't be too far from our destination, can we? Yeah, there we go. You've arrived in Wheatstalk, a small town in the middle of the central plains, with fertile soil suitable for farming. But due to its proximity to a number of major cities, most of its young people have moved away, leaving only the old timers behind. The higher your fitness, the less fatigue you get from driving. Good advice. We're really high on stress. We need to sort that. Um, in. 
Let's put you in a... What's... What do we go to the lobby? They sleep in the lobby. Free, but you're responsible for your own stuff. Oh, okay. Didn't realize lobby was a thing. Yeah, pea sweet. There's only one of us. There we go. A little bit less stress now. Let's go to the bar. Um... Get frisky. Your relations with this character's faction are too low. They don't want to associate with you. Ah, uh, no, I'll leave it then. What about Miltech? This character is a man you're not interested. Ah. Another way to get stressed out apart from drinking. Can we have some stuff to sell you? Um, wood, maybe? Yes, we had wood to sell. Yoing. Upsell. Yay, to have a Zen premium. Okay, so we're up to 6,140 scrap now. We're doing okay, folks. We're doing okay. Um, truck parts. Do we have the ability to craft any of these truck parts yet? Well, we could make a radiator. 20% engine cooling, but we haven't learned it yet. We need to be in a city with a library to do that. Um, axle tool grants... Removing tires grants 30 scrap. Ah! That's, that's a pretty good passive one to have. <laughs> Dining table. Eating relieves three fatigue. That's good. That's probably a handy one to have, actually. Rain harvester. Collecting rainwater provides a small amount of clean water. Good one to have as well. We have to learn some of these. Okay, so where are we going next? We are going... Um, let's reset them. So we are going to Starlight City, but we could go via Sparrow's Nest and then here to... Hmm, it's 15 quite high, but I'll try and do some salvage and then we'll go to Starlight City. So, um... Deuces, none. Okay, I think we're good. Let's just make sure we're right and fit apart from the stress, thirst. Hunger. Actually, let's uh, not eat our own food. Let's pay. Let's pay for some food. Um, visit the restaurant. There we go. Now all we are is stressed. Who will console this trucker? Nobody, because there's no one else here. <laughs> let's upgrade the intellect. I think that's a good choice. Can we hire anybody? Um... Bathroom. What's that do? Nobody's drunk. You don't need the bathroom. Ah, okay. That's what that is. Uh, can we hire somebody? Buy junk. Get frisky. Bounty. Delivery. Delivery. Okay. Let's do Starlight City, shall we? And where is it? Because it's a main mission. Let's head out. I'm surprised the radiator didn't cool down in the time we parked up. Oh, we should have repaired the track. It's 50% uh, health. First encounter with stray dog. You notice a small dog sitting beneath a road sign. It's barking at you. What do you do? Kill it. Adopt it. Move on. Let's adopt the puppy. Require acquired attack dog. Ooh. So we have a hunting dog. And we have an attack dog now. Appetite plus five, attack bonus determined by husbandry. Hunting bonus. <laughs> cool log. Is that out? We probably should have saw if we could get another uh, another trucker to join us because I was stressed that was getting quite high and we're not entirely sure how we're gonna sort that out and they're by themselves. The horsepower is currently zero. Terrain and weather can have an impact on your horsepower. If the weather's bad, consider staying in place till it improves. Okay, let's camp. Let's see. Infection risk seems okay. Cool engine with some dirty water. The stress levels are quite high. Can we, can we try and solve this for them by ourselves? Let's, let's have a party by ourselves, a barbecue. We are attacked due to our higher... Ah, oh, damn it. 
16 to 37. We try fighting. Oh, could we one. That was a bit close, wasn't it? There's bodies all over the place, laden with succulent, succulent meat. Wanna take some with you? I'm longing for long pig. No. <laughs> no thanks, freak. I can't. Uh, can't. The forest is teeming with wonderful creatures, just waiting for you to shoot them. You should be able to pick up a trail if you look carefully. Wander around for a while, but fail to pick up any signs of animal activity. Uh oh, oh, foraging then. We found some oyster mushrooms and button mushrooms. Nice. And then maybe some cut wood. Not bad. And um, we should probably now sleep. Oh no. Eh, fight. Let's wait until they get closer. And how far are we away? Oh, stress level's really high. I think we should miss this for now. And, oops. We should miss that for now and just go straight here. Because we need to uh, to rest. Need to try and get there. How high our stress levels are though, it's not good. We get to drink alcohol. Stress minus 80. Confirm. Your driver is drunk. Switch drivers or wait for them to sober up. <laughs> um, I guess now is a good place to rest. Okay, maybe we should camp and... Uh-oh. 3 to 20. Yeah, we can fight these. Drunk. How well do they fight drunk, I wonder? Oh, hang on. We can't attack. Oh, we should run. Um, yeah, we should run. Still drunk? Come on. We need to get out of here. Oh, we're still getting attacked. How are you still drunk? Oh, I was all getting attacked. You need to sober up. <laughs> you need to sober up. <laughs> Be sober up. Oh, I was all getting killed. Come on! Sober up, it was a bad idea to deal with the stress. Uh-oh. Run. Oh, come on! <laughs> How can you be drunk for so long? You've been drinking for like a full day. Is there a way to sober up a driver that's quicker than this? It must be, right? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> damn it. We can't even fight. All the fill we're burning through. Sober up, god damn it. Oh, finally. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh my god, so are we going? Wow, they took ages to get over their uh, drunken state, didn't they? An absolute age. But never mind, we're on the road again now. We're on our way.
At least we're not stressed anymore. So we're not good. probably going to rip the track apart. Cactus patch. Um, put it down. Yay. Who on losing the fuel, but yay on burning down the cactus patch. Three hundred kilometers away from our destination. Low hell, your truck's hull is getting low. If your hull reaches uh, is reduced to zero, it's game over. You can repair your hull yourself after setting up camp, or you can visit a repair shop in a city. Oh, look at us go! Now we're now we're on the move. Has completed main story, the Starlight Deed. You arrived in Starlight City, once a small village. This place has fallen into decline. Maybe the power of free enterprise could return it to its former glory. First visit to Starlight City, run again, 1320 experience points. You arrive in Starlight City, despite its pretty sounding name, it's an absolute dump. Dotted with desolate farms and crumbling houses, there's not a soul in sight. And the only light around is a faint glow coming from City Hall. Let's go see the mayor. Entering City Hall, you're greeted by an unbearable stench, like somebody was storing rotten meat in an old gym sock. There's trash everywhere, and sitting on a particularly large pile of trash is a slovenly man with a scraggly beard. Upon seeing you enter, he scrambles to his feet. Yes, this is the mayor. We're here to claim a land deed. The disheveled mayor reads through the deed. The guards. Not only do you own land in this fair city, you are the owner of the entire city. He's surprisingly eloquent for a man who looks and smells like he was formed out of sewer runoff. <laughs> he flashes you a grin, missing a few teeth, and proudly pats his garbage pile throne like it was a prized racehorse. Henceforth, this city shall be in your service. Okay, how many people have you? Alas, it is just myself at the moment. The last family left a week ago when their fields grew barren. What assets do we have? Alas, our coffers and silos are empty at the moment. We did have a few morsels of food laying around, but I just ate them. Let's get started. Getting this city up and running won't be easy. You might be able to salvage some construction materials from all the debris scattered around town. Confirm. Acquired. Building materials times five. Hint. Upgrading buildings in the city will provide you with a steady stream of resources. Started. Main story. Turning the lights back on. Crew gained 300 experience points. Okay, so let's repair the track. That's a good idea, I think. Repair hell. All of it. Tire's good. Engine good. We can also upgrade the track. Fuel use. We can increase our uh, fuel efficiency. 2,000 scrap. Let's do that. We can increase the hull by 25. We can increase the comfort by 1. Um, yeah, let's do that. And now we should probably save the last 2,000 scrap for other stuff. However, on that bombshell, folks, we're going to call it there for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did indeed like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, give a subscribe to the channel because, as you can see, a lot of people who are watching these videos aren't subscribed. So if you could, it would be a massive help. And uh, tune in next time for another episode of... Just land delivery. Bye, everyone.